work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard, work hard, play hard. Hey guys, it's Destiny Lachey. To my subscribers, thank you guys so much for coming back. And to the newbies, do not forget to hit that subscribe button because you won't miss any videos from me. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my must-have drugstore products. These are the products that I absolutely love from the drugstore. Let's jump right in. So the first product that, hands down, is almost my favorite foundation ever is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This foundation right here is medium to full coverage. It's really full coverage for me. I really like that because I need full coverage. I love full coverage. This is the dewy and the smooth version. Um, with these foundations, they come in two formulas, the dewy and smooth and the matte and poreless. Right now, I've been using the dewy and smooth. When you have like acne scarring and acne, using a matte foundation, I basically noticed over a couple weeks it kind of enhances the dryness around your pimples and your acne scars so I've been going towards the dewy and the smooth formula lately and I actually really really like it I know if you have acne prone skin and your skin is oily you cannot use the dewy and smooth because it's way too dewy and you'll get really oily throughout the day but this has really been working for me. I absolutely love this foundation and it's, I think it's only like no more than six or seven bucks. You can find it at any drugstore, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, anywhere will have these. And they have a wide range of colors. Really in love with this foundation. I actually ran out of my Lancome. You guys know that's my favorite high-end foundation. But I actually have not bought another one because I've just been using these. And the two colors that I have on my face right now, Mocha and Coconut mixed together. And I absolutely love it. So another item that I must have at all times is my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. And this is in the color Cafe. I can't go without this at all. Like, at all. All. I always have to have backups of these because I go through them so much. This concealer is a very light concealer. You can't really feel it underneath your eyes, which is awesome. I really like that. And it's medium to full coverage. You can build it up. But this is an awesome concealer for people that are just starting out because it blends so easily and it's just a awesome awesome concealer I picked this up over my NARS concealer lately and I really really like it another concealer that I have to have in my kit at all times is the NYX HD concealer in the color nutmeg this color is a little bit darker than the cafe um, fit me concealer by Maybelline so I've been reaching towards this one a lot more lately but in the winter, this is my go-to. In the summer, this is the one that I always pick up. These are very similar. Like, these concealers are very similar. So these are very comparable, and they're both very good concealers in general. Not just drugstore concealers. They're just really good concealers. So I really love, 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 love these. <sighs> I have a list, so I'm reading off that list so I don't forget anything. Okay. <clears throat> Oh my god, I actually really started to choke. Okay. Another item that I absolutely have to always have at my makeup desk is the Maybelline New York Shine Free Loose Powder in the color Medium. I absolutely love this stuff. It's very finely milled. I've been reaching for this over my Laura Mercier powder, over my banana powder lately. The color of this is perfect to set underneath my eyes and anywhere that I highlight. It's just like a beigey, non-ashy finely milled powder and that's really hard to find and this is cheap like I can use as much of this as I want <laughs> so I really really like this and it makes your under eyes look very smooth and I'm just in love with it this is a must have for me so another item that I use in almost every single tutorial is this CoverGirl Queen Bronzer this stuff is amazing I love it Especially coming from the drugstore, we actually have a bronzer that suits deeper skin tones. Like, what? Huh? Mm? This bronzer is life. If you are of deeper complexion, this will work amazing for you. On me, it is not too red. I have it on today. I use it in almost every tutorial, so you guys have seen it a gajillion times. But I really, really like this for deeper skin tones. It's like the perfect reddish brown color for your contour slash bronzing. This is life. Just try it. It's cheap. So another bronzer that I actually use as a highlight in almost every tutorial as well 
is the Sonia Kashuk Goddess Bronzer. This stuff I actually hit pan on, as you guys can see. It is amazing. Let me just swatch it for you guys. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to swatch it on my hand. That's what it looks like on my hand. I actually have it on the high points of my cheek today. And it's the perfect highlight for deeper skin tones. It makes you glow from within instead of sitting on top of the skin. It also really looks good in person. Sometimes with highlighters, they look too glittery in person. This does not have any, it doesn't even seem like it has glitter in it. It's more of a golden sheen and it's gorgeous, gorgeous. Anytime I wear this, I get compliments beyond compliments beyond compliments. And they're like, what highlighter are you wearing? I'm like, it's a drugstore highlighter. <laughs> but I really, really like this highlighter. It's a go-to for me. It's a must-have. I have a backup in my drawer because I feel like every time I love something, they discontinue it. So I always have to have backup. So the next item that I use a lot as well is the Milani Powder Blush. But this is the color Romantic Rose. And this is such a pretty blush. Even on darker skin tones, it does show up, surprisingly, because it does look so light in the pan. But it's really, really pretty, and they're very cheap. So, like, that's a plus. And these blushes do last me all day long. And this is a really great blush for the price. So the next item, I feel like I keep saying the same thing, but it's true. I feel like you use this in every tutorial. But this is the NYC Liquid Eyeliner. I go through, like... Mm, two tubes of this like a month I feel like I buy this all the time from Walmart and I think it's only three dollars this is the bomb.com okay it's really good liquid eyeliner and it has a really fine tip on it so if you're struggling with liquid liner and you usually use something like this try this out you can buy like 10 tubes of it it's only three dollars and um, I really really like it it stays put all day for me it's just a really good eyeliner especially for the price so the next item I use it all the time <laughs> this is the NYX honey do me up primer this stuff has been so good to me this is my second bottle this one is a little bit pricey for a drugstore I think it's $16 I absolutely love this primer it gives me such a dewy glow underneath my makeup I have it on today it makes your skin look so healthy it does have honey in it gold flakes and collagen I don't see the point of the gold flakes I like the fact that it has collagen and honey in it um, honey is a natural antiseptic and collagen makes your skin look smoother. <laughs> so I really, really like this primer. I've been using it for a while now if you've been watching my channel. It makes my skin feel really nice and I really enjoy it. The next primer that I'd like to share with you guys is this Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. So I recently discovered this because one of my subscribers told me to go get it because I think in my one of my drugstore tutorials I used the Smashbox one because I didn't know anything that compared to the Smashbox one. Thank you to that subscriber that told me about this because it is life. It's literally I feel like the same formula as the Smashbox photo finishing primer. This is a silicone primer. It is meant to fill in your pores. So generally people have pores around their nose and this area in their face. And I do. I feel like everyone does. This is seriously a pore eraser. You put this on underneath your makeup and it makes your pores non-existent. So I really, really like this. If you have problems with large pores, go pick this up. So another item that I recently really started using is the L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer. So this is what it looks like. And it looks very much like another product that you guys I know have seen. Anastasia um, Brow Pencil. So that's the Anastasia one right here and then there is the brow definer um, here is the brow definer right there at the top and this is the Anastasia pencil right there okay if it'll focus they're both actually the same width and everything so they're both very thin which is awesome um, this one is I think $22 the Anastasia one and the L'Oreal one is a lot cheaper than that I think it is six dollars somewhere around there but it's way cheaper than $22 this stuff is actually amazing I used it today 
I will link the tutorial of this full makeup look um, in the description box if it's up before this video. I didn't really like it that much at first, to be honest. I felt like the color payoff wasn't enough. I just feel like they need more colors for this L'Oreal Brow Definer. The darkest color is dark brunette. I would like a darker color, maybe like a ebony color. Not a black color, but a darker color than this. And I feel like I would absolutely love it. But this is definitely worth it. If you've been looking to pick up the Anastasia Brow Wiz, go get this because it's a way cheaper version and it actually gets the job done. So this actually has grown on me and I actually really do like it now. So another item that I use all the time especially when I'm on the run, is the NYX Butter Gloss. This is in the color Praline. I love this color in the color Ginger Snap. I don't think I have it on my makeup desk right now because it's probably in my purse, but I absolutely love this. I have this on my lips right now. It's starting to fade, but... It's starting to fade on my lips, but I just added a little bit more. This is so... So good. I used to buy the MAC, what was it? The MAC, what is it called? I used to buy the MAC glosses, lip glasses. That's what it's called, the lip glasses. This compares to it 1 million percent. I used to buy those lip glasses all the time because I would go through them like they were nothing. And then I discovered these. These are the bomb. They remind me so much of the MAC lip glasses. So, and I think these are only five bucks. I want to say, I don't know the prices of anything, I just know that they're really affordable. If you like glossy lips, this is like gloss on steroids because it's so glossy and it stays for a really, really long time. But I really, really love this gloss. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little drugstore must-have video. Don't forget to thumbs up this video if you enjoyed it and it helped you out. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one!